It's a great day to be in real estate. This is Dwayne Beisner, sales manager and sales representative for ERA. For the quote of the day, it's a Bulgarian proverb. The quote is, God promises a safe landing, but not a calm passage. And for the joke of the day, John received a free ticket to the Super Bowl. Unfortunately, John's seat was in the last row in the corner of the stadium. He was closer to the Goodyear blimp in the stadium. He noticed an empty seat 10 rows up from the 50-yard line. He decided to make his way to the empty seat. As he sits down, he asks the man next to him if anybody's sitting there. The man told him no, it was empty. John's very excited to have a seat like this at a Super Bowl and asks why in the world no one is using it. The man replied that it was his wife's seat, but she passed away. He said this was the first Super Bowl that they had not attended together since they were married in 1968. John said that that was really sad, and he asked if the man couldn't find someone else, a relative or a close friend, to take the seat. No, replied the man. They're at her funeral. So for the business tip of the day, in sales there are two types of qualifying. One, when prospects are ready, able, and willing to buy. Number two, when you make prospects qualify to buy. Think about that. And for the Darwin Award of the day, the uh, title is Epitaph, She Liked Feathers. This was in the United Kingdom, February 2009. A woman in her 40s was following a coastal footpath along the top of a cliff in Devon. Fencing was in place to protect people from falling, but this protective fencing was no match for the allure of a feather blown by the breeze, just out of reach. While chasing the feather, the woman climbed the fence, slipped and fell 80 feet. She was airlifted to the hospital, but there was no cure for what ailed her. She died of head injuries the following day and also stupidity. Okay, for the social commentary, this is part two of the, what we started yesterday, the Achieving a Witting Attitude in Six Easy Steps. This is adapted from an article from Jeffrey uh, James. Today is step two, which is reframe failures and setbacks. Sales reps who have had trouble with maintaining a positive attitude are almost always letting arbitrary exterior events automatically trigger bad feelings. For example, a sales rep might become annoyed and defensive prior to a customer call simply by running into a series of red lights during a drive. To that sales rep, the red lights mean that it's an unlucky day. As a result, the sales rep walks into the customer meeting feeling depressed and defensive. To change, get a different result. <clears throat> you must modify your interpretation of exterior events that formerly triggered your bad attitude. Once those events have a different meaning, they won't be able to trigger a bad attitude. For example, the sales rep above might see a series of red lights as an indication of how smart it was to leave early for the call, or the sales rep is late because of the, the uh, delays. The red lights can be an opportunity to collect thoughts and decide upon a damage con control strategy. Many sales professionals view so-called failures, lost sales, missed calls, bad prospects, as triggers for bad attitudes. However, it's also possible to view failures as learning experiences that point out the adjustments you must make in order to be more successful. Rather than become irritated at a failure, it makes more sense to consider that if you never failed, it would mean that you are taking no risks. In any case, even the best sales rep doesn't close every sale. If you make it your business to learn from every setback and stay focused on your end result, failure will simply become a way station on the road to success. And now for my real estate news. There was a housing expert that uh, said that the suburban century is over. At a recent meeting of the Urban Land Institute of Minnesota, senior fellow John McGuan said a new normal will be created in the housing market over the next 10 years, and he marked the end of the suburban century. He noted that markets offering a vibrant 24-7 lifestyle will see the most robust activity. Net zero energy units will become the norm, and the rental market will expand as homeownership rates fall to more historic levels. Suburban town centers will gain popularity among those wanting an urban lifestyle without living in a big city. Over the next decade, McWayne and four democratic or demographic groups, excuse me, will fuel the housing market. He said that four demographic groups will fuel the housing market. He said older baby boomers increasingly are moving back to the central city, while younger baby boomers are finding it more difficult to relocate for their jobs because they can't sell their suburban houses. Meanwhile, millennials are more environmentally aware and will seek urban lifestyles. And immigrants who cannot afford large suburban houses to shelter multiple generations will increase demand for rentals. With 1.5 housing units per year needed to accommodate the shift to normal levels of household formation, McWayne said zoning 
financing and regulations need to be rethought to meet housing demand. And then in the second story, the Fed basically said interest rates are to stay at record low levels. In the wake of a slowing real estate market, the Federal Reserve said Wednesday that the economy is proceeding, quote unquote proceeding, whatever that means, and pledged to hold interest rates at record low near zero rates. One piece of good news released simultaneously with the Fed's report was a survey of CEOs of large U.S. companies, 39% of whom said they expect the increase to increase the number of people on their payrolls in the second half of 2010. Hey, that's good news. Um, I need to say it again like I always do. This is the best buyer's market you and I will ever see in our lifetimes. If you or anybody you know is thinking about buying or selling, I would advise you to do so now. If you need help anywhere in the world, give us a call here at ERA. We have global reach. And if you think about making a move into real estate as a career, please shoot me an email or give me a call. This is Dwayne signing off. Happy trails to you as always. Proud to be an American.